right guys well I guess the clever ones amongst you have already worked out I'm gonna do some cooking and what am I gonna be cooking well oh, oh that's heavy oh, ready <laughs> This weekend I shall mostly be using tromboncino squash to make things. Um, I've got a pickle lined up and I've got a mango style chutney. But for those, you've got to prepare it the day before. So I'm going to do that now and I'll catch up with you tomorrow with all the rest of the ingredients. All right. Whopper this is, isn't it? <clears throat> right, as you know with the uh, pickles, you need to usually you need to soak salt them overnight. So what I do, I need about one bowl for rubbish, uh, 100 and, 100 1.2 kilograms. I ain't got a clue how much that is, that's quite heavy, so uh, yeah. Start there, shall we? Yeah. All right, you can rest there a minute, mate. I'll have you in a minute. And oh, there's a lot of water coming out. That's good or not, though. Yeah, gonna peel it first. Might be quicker peeling it with a knife, actually. Right, that'll do. I'm going to stop at 900 with that one because it looks like a lot to me for a couple of jars. So. Right, I'm going to do this by hand or with the mandolin. Let's see how hard it is first. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll do it like that. risk of cutting my hands, I'm going to leave those. Okay, and I need some onions. Same again. I'll try this. Okay, and you've seen me do this loads of times before. Just sprinkle some uh, just salt over it and overnight. The moisture, the excess water will come out of all this lot and it will be ready for pickling tomorrow. Keep knocking things on the floor. Eh? Right, that's ready for tomorrow. Okay then guys, here we are, following day. The uh, Tromachino and onions etc have release their water overnight as you can see there so I'm going to rinse these and rinse them and rinse them and rinse them again and then strain them and they'll be going in the uh, in the pan with this lot here so let's sit down I've got three cups of um, apple cider vinegar two tablespoons of mustard I've put these here so I remember which to use <laughs> two tablespoons of mustard two teaspoons of my turmeric are missing there if you notice and one te teaspoon of ground cinnamon and three cups of sugar granulated sugar would do doesn't really matter so what are we doing all this lot at the bottom here will be going in there uh, dissolve the sugar bring it to a quick boil then add the uh, squash and onions and uh, jar them up and the jars are in the oven at the moment 105 degrees slightly damp so they're being sterilized right off to drain them well, they are all nicely uh, drained and strained. So put those to one side a second. Get on with the uh, liquor. Right. Manual number three, number four. Oh. 
apple cider vinegar, about three cups. You adjust it to how many you've got, really. Right, it's like three cups of sugar. Have we got enough in there? Hmm. Two, two tablespoons of mustard seeds. Do this gently. Two teaspoons of turmeric. This is my own, like I said, so might not be quite as yellow as the normal ones. Ah, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Go. Cool. That clears the old sinuses, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, it's just started boiling, so in with the uh, tromboncinos, etc. And what we're going to do now is bring it back to a simmer, then off with the heat quickly. We don't want it to cook. We just want to get them hot so the flavours start infusing. Okay then, so let's turn you around just a fraction. Oh, oh, oh. So, sterilised jars. Oh, so. I don't think I'll need more than two, I'm not sure. I'll put on a tea towel because I don't want to uh, make a too much of a mess. And I'm not going to use my um, funnel because these things won't fit through the hole in the funnel. Yep, I knew it'd make a mess. Okay, quick wipe around the top. Let me give the proper jar a proper wipe layer. Two jars of pickled tromboncino. Or is it tromboncino pickle? <laughs> okay, much the same for the uh, chutney. Mango style chutney. About chutney. About the same weight, so a little bit less perhaps. But I'll do. And as you know, with the tromboncino, all the seeds are in the bulbous end, <clears throat> so you haven't got to de-seed anything, look. Brilliant. Well, right, this one we need, like, chutney-sized chunks, so a bit more awkward. So... Right. Way of doing this. Okay, bring it back when that's all done. Alright, well, that's that all chopped up then. Alright, so what we need now teaspoon of salt. I've got some uh, Himalayan type stuff here. Um, four or five um, cardamom pods. So I put those all in there. Keep them out of the way. So I get the get the seeds out of the cardamom pods. Make the crush of it. Get it easier. That's better. Go on, they smell nice. Very quick grind up with these. Whew. Oh, it smells lovely. Right. 
over the top with that and a bit of fenugreek. Now I haven't got any seeds so I'm use a bit of powder and what I'm going to do I reckon that'll be enough powder. Oh, that's the essence of mango chutney that is. Right and 200 grams of ordinary sugar, granulated sugar. Yeah. And again, leave that till tomorrow. There you go. And here we are next day. The tromboncino, cardamom, a um, little bit of salt and the sugar is all liquefied overnight. So that's going in and the rest of the stuff we have, oh here we go, um, well that's a large cooking apple, a couple of cloves of garlic, a knob of ginger, 100ml of white vinegar, um, lime juice, juice of one lime. Uh, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of nigella seeds, a little bit of turmeric, turmeric, I got that wrong again, turmeric, I'm using, I'm not using my own this time, I'm using the um, one I got from a, an Indian shop, believe it or not, um, yeah, one I got from an Indian shop, because I want it to stay bright yellow, I don't want it red, and a little bit of uh, chilli powder to taste. Right, so I say we need the juice from one lime, so how much juice is in one lime? Google, how much juice is in one lime? According to Produce Converter, we found that on average, one lime has two tablespoons of lime juice in it. Good well, there you are two tablespoons of lime juice. I never knew that. I learn something every day. Okay, that's all we've done. Peeled, cored the apple, and just chopped it into small chunks. A little bit of uh, water in a pan. And we're going to boil it down until it's nice and uh, nice and fluffy, as they say. Okay, then while that's uh, cooking away, let's turn it down a little bit. It's going to be too fast. I'm going to uh, peel and slice the garlic. That's a nice easy one. I wish they were all like that. And I'm going to grate the uh, ginger. Let's get the skin off as usual. Oh, I'm spreading my face out. Right, in with everything else now. Two tablespoons of lime juice, which I now know is one lime. Let's get the apples in. Okay, teaspoon of mustard seeds, teaspoon of nigella seeds. Oh, rough. it's all rough. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. And just a little bit of chilli powder. Too much. <laughs> what we do now is get it boiling and then simmer for about 40, 45 minutes. I suppose, I'll tell you why. I wish they'd invent smell o vision it smells lovely, go. Cool. Right, just about ready now. So I'm going to give it a little quick press down with the potato masher just to make it more mango chutney-ish. Okay. okay, I think there's an awful lot in there so I'm just using, the, just using these small jars for now. We'll see how we get on. Mm. 
Well, there we go then. Not a bad day's work, really. Yep. Looks nice, this stuff. <laughs> I've tasted the uh, chutney already. It is, uh, it's not far off mango chutney. Nice. Yep. Well, you're right, guys. Well, today's Digwell Spills of Beans is going to upset a few people, I think. On YouTube, you can make money. And to make money, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours per roll in 12 months. And people achieve this, and I follow 250-odd channels, and six people, oh, six, <laughs> six people who I follow have achieved this fairly recently, it's last last couple of months or so. Bloody well done. I'll tell you, it's hard work. But the reason you got to the 4,000 hours is because of what you were doing. Don't change what you were doing. Don't suddenly start doing videos on this is how I plant my winter cabbage, followed by one tomorrow, this is how I plant my cauliflower, this is how I plant my winter sprouting broccoli. We didn't watch you for that. We didn't subscribe to you to watch that sort of stuff. We watched you. We subscribed to you because you were, you were, for want of a better word, spouting good stuff, you know? I've unsubscribed to two people so far. They were, you know, they've gone mad. They've gone stupid. There's videos every other day. I can't keep up with it, especially now there's no email notifications. And two other channels. Now, they've, they've had to do it your way. Hang on, they've gone up and up and up and up. And they've plateaued because there are no new people looking at how you plant winter cabbage and how you plant broccoli and how you plant cauliflower and now they are gone they've gone back to their grassroots and they're doing it properly again so what i'm trying to say guys is just stick with what you've been doing to get there don't forget where you came from you know what i mean <laughs> uh, it's my uh, it's my subscribers gone down 